those who do evil. Now, you might ask yourself, what is evil? We'll look at that in just a minute. You're on what's the Bible say? Yes, caller? Yes, how you doing today? I'm good. I'd just like to make a quick comment. Okay. Um, you were speaking to the gentleman earlier about um, adhering to what the Bible says. Okay. Y'all were talking about baptism. So um, how, I want to know, how come y'all don't baptize in the name of Jesus as the Bible instructs us? We do. Well, I have a DVD where John Ophiel was saying that sometimes when he baptized a person, he may not say anything. Well, sir, just because you didn't say anything, does that mean that you're not doing it in, you're not doing what Jesus says? L let's just ask this. Did you say in Jesus' name when you started our conversation? I did to myself. All right. So why didn't you say it to us? James may have said in Jesus' name to himself when he was doing the baptizing. What was wrong with that? Well, that's a totally different thing. Wait you know, a minute. Wait a minute. You said he didn't say it. He said he didn't say anything. But, we, but that didn't necessarily mean he didn't say it to himself. Now, you said tonight, honestly, you started your call. And right before you started talking to me, you said, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to do what? Ask this question. Uh, is that right? Actually, I so, so everybody associated with you, they actually go around and they do what the Bible says in, first, in, in uh, uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father by Him. So what you're telling me is you get up in the morning and you put your shoes on. In the name of Jesus, I put my shoes on. Well, no, not everything. But, um... Okay, now, sir, would you like to come on and us have a organized discussion so that you can actually present Jesus only to our community? I'd love for you to do it. I can get along with you for an hour. Well, uh, actually, I, I would love to try something like that, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to present, you know, my ideas the way I would really like to. How about if your preacher come and you come along? Well, I'd like that, but I'd like to talk to you. Okay, I'll be thrilled we, to we do that. To talk I, about it. I would be thrilled to do that. Are you in Martinsville? No, I'm in Danville. Okay. Uh, how are we going to get together? Um... I do come to Martinsville from time to time. Oh, that's, that's fine, sir. I'm definitely... I'm in Martinsville, and I do come to Martinsville. I can put it on me. I'll be happy to come to Danville, and uh, we could, uh, you know, go somewhere and sit down and have lunch. And uh, let's say, for instance, I know some places where they don't mind if you sit and talk. And, uh, you know, I can kill two birds with one stone, and I'd be thrilled to death to get together with you. Well, I would, too. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm put you on hold. Okay. And the gentleman in that's here with me, he's going to take your... Your phone number, and I'll get back in touch with you. All right. Great. All right. Thanks for the call. All right. Line three. Okay. Let's see what I had come in on my phone. Now, a moment ago, uh, before this uh, gentleman called in that we're going to have a, a meeting with, I'm really looking forward to it. I appreciate him calling tonight. And